The F1 race on the fast track to Austin. In fact, they just announced individual ticket prices. This only hours after Travis County commissioners approved an important permit for the Circuit of the Americas track today. Circuit of the Americas had to show commissioners they are prepared for the nearly 250,000 people that could be coming to Austin on that weekend. KXN's Chris Sodegi has uh, put on that plan. Uh, he's been looking at that plan and how it's been put together. He's live at the Del Valley ISD where some racing fans could be parking on that weekend. Chris? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, Robert. The Circuit of the Americas sees these empty lots and they see opportunity. They're talking to the school board about possibly renting the campus parking lots to allow people to park that weekend. There are a ton of logistics that go into an event like this. Today, Coda talked about how they plan on keeping it from going off-road. Almost five months until race day arrives in Austin, and the Circuit of the Americas says they'll make it to the finish line. Oh, we're going to beat deadline. And Tuesday, they cleared another turn. They were granted a large gathering permit after telling county commissioners they will contract with Travis County agencies to provide all the law enforcement, traffic control, and EMS they'll need, including a Starflight chopper at the track. 1,000 portable restrooms and a medical facility will be on site and parking will be split between the track and two remote sites with shuttles. And the track itself will be ready. I go out and I'm amazed every three or four days how much progress Austin Commercial is making. But there's one key component the county will have to pay for. That's the tracks that lead to the track. When the development exceeds the road capacity, we expand the roads. And I think that's a government function. Judge Sambisco says Elroy Road and others leading to the raceway will have to be expanded and it will cost the county $5.2 million, an investment he thinks will pay for itself. But there's plenty of work and growing pains to come. A crowd this big will be a first for Travis County, but if others can do it, Bisco says it can be done here. Races have occurred in other places, so we can see what the best practices uh, are. And one of the spots he specifically mentioned was the Texas Motor Speedway up in the Dallas area. That was a track that was built out in a very remote area and has since spurred some development. We're live in southeast Travis County. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. Thank you, Chris. Well, Circuit of the Americas announcing today the tickets will go on sale this Sunday. Three-day general admission tickets costing $159 per person. The rates go up from there, and you can find out more details on their website and ours, KXAN.com.